so guys, what is going on? Um, I can't be bothered putting a prediction, uh, not prediction, the results to go for Slammiversary. It was epic, however. Uh, I saw it last night. Uh, because in the UK, that's what happens. And it was quite amazing. Uh, the X Division match at the start. It uh, was really good. Chris Chris Sabin is once again X Division champion. Uh, Gunner and Storm, new tag champions. I said it was going to happen, and it did. Uh, some other great matches. Uh, but however, oh yeah, and Abyss is TV champion. He. Uh, Got in the match instead of Joseph Park because he got uh, attacked by Devon and Bischoff, I think it was. Um, and Abyss um, became the new television champion of TNA. So that's pretty good. But uh, the big one that hit me Sting didn't win the world title. Never going to get a shot again at the uh, world championship. Bit of a kick in the teeth because I really want that to happen, you know, one last run for Sting. Uh, because he held it two or three years ago now, and uh, there was a rivalry between Sting, Rob Van Damme, and Mr. Anderson, and that was pretty awesome. But yeah, it, it, it was a great pay per view. If you've not seen it, do, because you know, uh, Slammiversary and Bound for Glory are the two big pay-per-views uh, of the year, in my opinion. Uh, Slammiversary is TNA's version of WrestleMania, sort of. And Bound for Glory is sort of the King of the Ring tournament, but, but with points. You get where I'm coming from? <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh... But what I wanted to talk about was WWE actually. Uh, payback is on the horizon. It's next Saturday, Sunday even. Um, and some matches have been announced. Uh, Ryback and Cena, which I don't know why they made it at three stages of hell. I mean, it would be good if it was, you know, good matches, but who wants to see a lumberjack match? Who wants to see a table match? I mean, fair enough, it could be good the table match and the ambulance match, just as long as if the script writers don't fuck it up again, you know. Um, but I think Ryback would be a great champion. Um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I've thought about it quite a lot recently, and it might be alright. Uh, however, I do miss the spin about. Uh, I wish they'd just bring that back, to be honest, because it looks better. But, hey-ho. Uh, and also Chris Jericho and CM Punk, which should be quite awesome. Uh, the last time we fought was at Extreme Rules last year, I think. Whoa, it's like a year. Uh, on pay per view, that is not on like Raw or anything. I think so anyway. Um, and Chris Jericho always puts on a good match Sam Punk always puts on a good match so that could be the stealer of the night uh, and of course we all want a Randy Orton heel turn you know he's on the advert talking about payback and revenge is this him having a heel turn you know, payback's a bitch. Uh, I I love the advert to be honest. <laughs> it is a great advert. 
and I I'm looking forward to the pay per view. Um, but TNA is on tonight. Who knows? So yeah, uh, kicking off in the Western world at the minute. Uh, I'm going to go now and watch this week's Raw because I've not watched it yet. I saw like the first 20 minutes. Stephanie McMahon won a milk. And yeah, I shall see you later guys and goodbye.